I recently got a request from my niece, Anouk, who lives in Taggarty. She wants to learn how to do handstands. She's a young girl, she's very athletic, great runner, and she's starting from the beginning. And she sent me a video of her just trying to kick up into a handstand, which I know, and I've said this, trying is winning. Just keep trying that kick up, just keep trying that kick up and it will happen. But handstands, there are some other things that you can do that will help you get to that position. But remember, with all gymnastics, it's about having a tight core. It's about squeezing your body, squeezing your bum. Just think about crushing the grape. I often say that in my classes. Think about crushing the grape in between your butt checks and that's gonna tighten up the whole core for you. A few things to just get you started on your handstand journey, wall climb, okay? And it doesn't have to be all the way up the wall. You can see I've got little steps here to help me get up the wall. But what I'm gonna do is start flat on my chest. I'm gonna crush the grape. And as I crush the grape, I'm gonna keep my bum really tight and get into this position. And maybe that's all you got and slowly, you walk your hands back and slowly you walk your hands back slowly you walk your hands back and you're vertical the thing here is coming down slowly with control is still going to build still going to build strength on your shoulders so you don't have to go all the way up in the beginning it's going to be very hard you just want to get your feet up. Do not let your butt sag. If you are crushing the grape, the butt will not sag. And maybe you're just going to hold it there. And then you slowly build the feet up. But you want to see how long you can stay on your shoulders with your hands. Remember, you want everything stacked. Wrists, elbow, shoulder, all stacked together. And you don't want to have this bend in the elbows. If you can just get it stacked, think about rotating your hand into the floor, turning your hand into the floor, and that's going to get this little elbow armpit facing out, and the, bone, the, the arm will be stacked, and you can stay upside down on your wall for a long time, building stability and strength. Good luck, and this is a special message to Anouk. I want to see you try this and send me some videos. Love you, bye. Today we are bringing you my favorite gladiator essential oil and medicinal herb, rosemary, known for its properties for upper respiratory health and also for immune boosting. It is one of the primary essential oils that Guy and I use every day and we absolutely love it in our food. So... I know that I eat a lot of chicken, a lot of meat, and sometimes it can get very boring. A little bit of rosemary on those on that food, it takes it to another level where it feels like it's really exciting and it's much easier to eat. And I know Jen's been adding rosemary to everything lately and I'm enjoying some of those, let's say boring proteins a little more than I have. And we are gonna add some of Jen's marinade, some of her recipes to the notes and we're gonna do a Facebook post with all the stuff she's been using rosemary for. Enjoy. Great, great herb. Bye.